guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are going to make a shopping haul. I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. I used to do them all the time. I don't know why I stopped, but I just recently went shopping at Urban Outfitters, Bath & Body Works, and Topshop. I don't know if you guys know this, but Topshop supposedly filed for bankruptcy. So they had like a huge sale when I walked in. I had no idea until I think one of the employees told me or my friend, I don't remember. But everything was 50% off. I didn't really find a lot of things that were in size small. Everybody snatched them up, but I did get to get a couple of things. So let's go ahead and get started. Do not forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. First one we have. Bath and Body Works annual semi sale. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the candles. Now the scents vary from like tropical scents to really sweet scents to kind of musky scents. Okay. So I think the very first one I want to show you guys is my favorite at the moment, which is this one right here. It is vanilla coconut. I actually got the hand soap in PR. Oh, and I fell in love with the hand soap. They didn't send me the candle, so I went out and I bought the candle, and I just love it. It literally smells like tropical but sweet at the same time, and it's just like my favorite scent for the summertime. Oh, it smells so freaking good. I think if you guys want to go get a candle, I would recommend this one. Actually, I recommend all the ones that I have. Next one I picked up is Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. I've never smelled anything like this candle before. <laughs> oh shit, that was my burger in there. It kind of smells like summer going into November. Ooh, that's a perfect way to describe it. Okay, another vanilla scent that I got was Iced Vanilla Woods. This one kind of reminds me of the Mahogany Teakwood candle, but with vanilla. You guys, y'all know I love vanilla. Oh, this smells like the Abercrombie version but like a female version. You know when you walk into like the app, does Abercrombie and Fitch still exist? I don't even know. Who the fuck is texting me? Louis texted me during my video, it's me. <laughs> oh, it just smells so good. It has that really sophisticated, kind of smells like cologne, but then it smells like vanilla. I love when people walk into my home and they instantly are like, oh my God, what is that? It smells so good. And I'm like, Bitch is my candle. So this next one is probably my favorite packaging out of all of them. It kind of has like this water marble coloring. It's gray and white and it's mahogany coconut. It smells like, it just, it straight up smells like a really sophisticated musky smell, but it smells tropical. It's kind of like this one, but this one's more on the sweet side and this one's more on the musky side. This one smells really 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 freaking good now you guys know me i cannot leave bath and body works without a really really sweet candle <laughs> so this one does not go with any of the other ones but i picked this one up okay now this one is cinnamon sugar donut <laughs> and everybody that i've showed this candle to hates it because it's so strong it's literally like if you were to walk into like a candy shop and like just filled with donuts and sugar and just candy it's like cracked me. Oh, I just love candles so much. I love the packaging. I love the smell. It just smells literally like a donut shop. It, it just like, it smells like a sugar donut and like a glazed donut. It just smells like Krispy Kreme. I always make sure to buy sweet candles for my filming room. And then I buy the like really musky, like bougie scents for my house. And then like for the restrooms, I like to get like either tropical, floral, or like eucalyptus or like bare mint like i like really like relaxing smells from my restrooms i like each room to smell different is that weird i don't know i just like my whole house to smell really good okay so i went ahead and i got three different tropical ones we have banana flower i how do you even smell these this one is banana puree with vanilla bean and jasmine that's exactly what i smelled in there yeah it smells like banana but then you get a hint of vanilla and jasmine wow they freaking killed it with this one this next one is Fiji White Sands. This one is Vanilla Orchid Warm Amber and White Sands. What the fuck does White Sands even smell like? Oh my God, I'm gonna need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's kind of hard to smell soaps, but these all smell really good. I mainly bought these two because it has that like teal color to it. Um, this next one is Hawaii Coconut Colada. Ooh, Coconut Colada, Pina Colada, Tina Colada. Ooh. 
This one doesn't have the scents. It's kind of weird. The main reason why I even like to buy the ones from Bath and Body Works is because these have vitamin E. So after I wash my hands, they always feel moisturized. Not like when I go to like public restrooms and I wash my hands and they're really, really dry. But anyways, so I next got these two really sweet ones. I tried looking for the candle version of these hand soaps and they were not available. I was very, very disappointed. But we have pink petal tea cake and then we have lavender marshmallow. I, of course, had to get sweet ones. The sweet ones, I only put them in my personal restroom because my guests do not like sweet smells. So all the like fresh set ones I will have in the kitchen and then I will have in the bathroom. Moving on to Urban Outfitters. Okay, the only reason why this bag is big is because of the shoes. So first item we have here is my Fila shoes. I had to buy a new pair because, bitch, my white pair of shoes did not survive the party bus with Miss Laura Boutique. Okay, I feel like these shoes go with everything, which is why I had to repurchase them. Plus, you know, your girl is short and these add like an inch. So it makes me feel really tall. These just go with every outfit and I feel like chunky shoes look really, really nice with big oversized t-shirt and then like the ankle socks can kind of scrunch them down. So if you guys are trying to invest into a really like nice pair of white shoes, I would recommend these. Okay, so next up we have these cute simple tops. I always, always, always go to Forever 21 to buy simple cute tops. So this is the very first one we have here. So it's kind of just like, it kind of looks like a bralette, but it has like this fringe on the side and it's just really, really pretty. Like this shirt in the summertime with like boyfriend jeans and layered gold necklaces and like hoops would look so, so cute. This would be like perfect for a brunch outfit or even at nighttime you can dress it up with like some white jeans and like some white heels that would look really really cute and i went ahead and i bought these plain tops so i bought a white one so like these i'll just like go out and run errands in and then i also bought a black one these are actually velvet so it can make an outfit to look really well put together you can dress down or dress these up like i can wear these with like some sneakers and go around town running errands or i can wear one of these tops pair with some jeans a skirt shorts or whatever and some heels and it can go as a club outfit you know all right now bitch i had no idea that urban outfitters had imgia if you don't know what imgia is it's this clothing brand it's kind of on the yeah it's on the expensive side but like i always have to order online and have it shipped to me and when i walked in there and i saw that they had imgia i was like <gasps> because every time i order online you know some clothes that i order small end up like fitting me too small or if i order a medium then it'd be too big so it's always like a hit or miss i feel like with their clothes so when I went to the store, I was like, yeah, I can finally try them on and I'm obsessed. So the very first top I got was this one. It is this really bright neon green. And then in the back, it has um, this like lace. You can tighten it up as much as you want. And what I like about this is it does have like metal in here. So it is kind of like a corset. And then it has their logo right there. I just feel like this is such a cute top. You know, we have a little corset moment going on. We have the neon and then we have the lettering. Just makes it look really modern. This is just like a really LA top, I feel like. That's like the perfect way to describe this. I would wear this with like some latex pants and like some pointy black heels and probably like have my hair slicked back. I'll probably use this for like my date tonight. Not really a date, but like basically out to dinner, you know. So um, yeah, I'm sure this will make my titties pop out because of the wiring. So just like cheeky sub type of shit. <laughs> this next top I got is this black corset top. It's just so pretty. Recently, I've been into corset tops just because like they literally make your waist look so tiny because you can just cinch them in. So uh, if you've been looking for corset tops, I recommend you go to Urban Outfitters and go to the IMGO section. The only thing is that these are really expensive. This one was $60, but it is so pretty and IMGO's material and quality is freaking amazing. So I definitely do think that the price point does match with the quality. Okay, next top I got is another corset top. Now this one is long sleeve. It has their logo on the sides as well. It is leopard. It is mesh from the sleeves, but from here you can't see it. It's like a different material. We have the lace going on in the back as well. It's just super, super pretty. This one, I would probably pair with like a black pair of jeans, like roll them up. And then you can wear like some black heels, some black booties. I think like some knitted black heels would look really, really cute with this. And then just like sleek straight hair. 
Oh, I love it. It's so freaking pretty. I always make sure to get a bunch of scrunchies when I'm on my way out. The reason why I like to use scrunchies is because let's say I straighten my hair and I use a regular Liga, it'll leave the imprint of it, like the little dent. So I like to use scrunchies because it doesn't leave that dent on my hair. So I'm able to put it up while I'm doing my makeup and I know that I will mess it up. I got these really cute ones. And last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters is of course a book. I always, always, always buy a new book every time I go into Urban Outfitters. They always have new books. This one is The Stars Within You, A Modern Guide to Astrology. I have literally like 10 books of astrology, but I feel like every book is different when it comes to astrology. If you want to get more into astrology or if you want to learn about your sign and all that, you can download an app, but I personally feel like reading is better it's it's more knowledge and you know you get to put down your phone the reason why i even buy books nowadays is because i try to stay off my phone as much as possible like if i'm not having to do anything work related i either play sudoku which is a brain game or i read a book yeah i'm excited to start reading this book and that is it for urban outfitters now let's move on to oh my god you guys i'm actually very very sad because as i was throwing away my top shop bags I forgot that I had my little like tiny jewelry bag like they had put in all the bags inside of one big top shop bag and I took out all the big items and I forgot that I left all the jewelry there and I spent most of my money on jewelry. I'm very very sad but you know it is what it is. I'm not about to go dumpster diving but I already went ahead and I took out the items that I bought at top shop. Like I said everything at top shop was 50% off. So the first item I got I already put this on a little hanger but it is this mint leather vest type of situation going on at first i was like no this is gonna look freaking horrible on me but when i tried it on i was like oh, this looks so freaking pretty you guys know this is my favorite color i had to get a medium because my titties did not fit into the small one so next to what i bought at top shop is these pair of heels these are so freaking pretty i was so freaking excited that they were on sale so they are just like this really thick platform they're really low so they're not um, uncomfortable i already wore them out and you can see my little crusty toes on there and these are just strap-ons these are really really pretty i think these were originally 85 dollars and i got them just for 40 dollars which is really really good so this is the first pair i don't think you guys are gonna like this next pair of shoes but it is this really thick tan sneaker now bitch you guys see how fucking thick this is bitch when i wear these can't nobody talk to me i'll be like hey bitch how is the weather down there i'm like four inches taller <laughs> i love them I feel like this can go with any outfits. I wore them out actually with this shirt. I just wore some black biker shorts and then I threw these on and it just completed the outfit and made it look really, really cool. Um, I got these in a size. These actually look freaking huge. These are a size six, bitch. They just look really huge because it has all the thickness back here. So the last two items that I got from Topshop is this really, really pretty white and gold bag. I love mini bags. I don't know why I like them. I just don't like carrying big oversized bag. I'd rather have like a little mini bag and a little clutch. It'll go with a lot of outfits and I do wear a lot of gold jewelry. And then I had to save the best for last. <laughs> Bitch, it is a freaking Tiffany blue snake crocodile print mini bag with this gold ring in the front it just looks so freaking pretty i when i saw this i was like bitch this is mine this bag is me i just love it and oh i'm gonna go marshall yeah. you guys are gonna laugh at me for buying this but i am just such a whore for anything mint and tiffany blue okay i had to fucking buy these forks and knives and spoons because they were tiffany blue It's just so pretty, like. Mm. <laughs> I bought this Tiffany like mint color candle. It is like extra extra large compared to like all the other candles. This one is like on crack. And it just smells so fresh. It just smells like the ocean. It smells just Oh, well, yeah, it smells like sea salt lime. Next up I bought is actually this really cute jewelry case. I had actually originally thought about my pink one. I thought the pink one was more prettier than this one, but a little gem came off. Pretty much this is like a traveling jewelry case, and I think it is so freaking cute for when I travel. It has a little mirror, so I'm able to like put on my earrings and adjust it. And then this comes off and you're able to put like your necklaces down there. I also went ahead and bought this Tiffany Blue Beauty Blender. Now, reason being is because, bitch, when I went to Marshalls and I was looking at the makeup, I was like, 
when I saw the brands over there, I was like, so of course I bought a full face of Marshall's makeup that video will be coming very very soon this next item is therapy bands now one of the reasons why I got them a is because I saw a Tiffany blue band but the main reason is because when I was in eighth grade I did dislocate my knee and this is what the therapist would use on me when we were doing therapy and recently I've been having a shit ton of knee pain because the townhomes that I'm in they don't have elevators obviously they're not apartments they're like little townhomes and there is a huge flight of stairs to get up there so anytime I want to go to the garage I want to go get my post or anything I have to go up and down the steps moving on to the last item I got these exfoliating gloves now bitch if you do not exfoliate your body you need to okay because there is a lot of dead skin cells on your body just exactly like you exfoliate your face you need to exfoliate your body so i usually would buy these at forever 21 but the forever 21 close to me closed down so when i saw these i was like yes i was in need of new ones especially when i get spray tans i use this to scrub off the spray tan but i just put like my soap on there and i scrub my entire body and then as soon as i get out of the shower i put on lotion and my skin just feels amazing if you don't know how to exfoliate in gloves i really 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 highly recommend you do so because when you even clean yourself with these you see like all the mugre and stuff coming out it's disgusting but it's really satisfying and they're only 2 dollars so yeah they're definitely worth it all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little shopping haul if you guys want more like lifestyle videos instead of makeup videos definitely let me know in the comments down below and this could not be a giveaway oh fuck i just gave it away this could not be a daisy video without a giveaway so comment once you're done turning on my post notifications and i will be choosing one of you to win a hundred dollar gift card to bath and body works that way we can be you know, twinsies on the candles. I want to know what candles you choose if you are the giveaway winner. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.